Yo, it's a stupidly small podcast. It's Thursday, 7th of July, 2016. It's Lauren's Gap Week. Good morning, Lauren Clark. Good morning, Stu. It's a good way to start the podcast. Hey, you just smashed a pen against your microphone. Uh, well, you know what, Stu? Nobody would have heard it. Nobody would have heard that because the jackpot will take it off or it'll be under the music or something. Jackpot so will take just... it off. Do you know how long I've been waiting to hear those words? <laughs> he comes in at that sarong every morning to come and uh, edit. And, well, not edit. We don't actually do anything, but he, he plonks in a bit of a hello he does and puts sometimes, it online for he us. He does sometimes. If I do something stupid like plonk my whatever I did oh, pen on the microphone out. he can cut that off the front we have not had a p- edited podcast as such so people do ask no. us sometimes how do you how long does it take to cut all that <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you kidding have you listened to it <laughs> yeah. and the other, the other well, this is a bit self-referential it's almost like our clip show um, mm. and um, how do you come up with the topics well, oh. I'll tell you how we come up with topics. <laughs> like, for instance, we'll say, all right, do you want to talk about this this week? The bananas. Week? The yeah. bananas. And then we'll turn the mics on and go, so what about storage cabinets? <laughs> and it just, and it goes from. Like, almost, that is almost exactly seriously. how it works every But time. it's good to think that we have a, 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 something to talk about. <laughs> storage cabinets. <laughs> and well, it's true, though, Versus isn't it? bananas is the perfect analogy. It is exactly what happens. So not like yesterday's oil and water that you didn't like. This. Oh, come on. I thought that was a ripper. We had worst. a lot of people get in contact saying, I completely Nobody got did. Rubbish. You're not in charge of our uh, <laughs> office. You're, off busy. you're, you're on holidays. You're not in charge. I have to do everything this week. <laughs> All right? You're on holidays. It's Lauren's Gat Week. Short got a and little, sharp. Got a little flash of what uh, the, your housemate must put up with. I have to do absolutely uh, is that, is everything. That, is, well, is that how you think it is? You know how I run the show at home? You run it, do you? You know how I do it? Oh, God. Is I speak with my actions, not my words. I, as I have said as before, someone comes home, she must pinch herself. Just, just get up every morning and go, is it true? Is surely it true? not. Hang on. Hang on someone, somebody slap me. <laughs> but no, it's true. Anyway, uh, what's Lossy. news? Well, no news as such. I'm asking, as I do from time to time, yeah. we, we got great tax, tax advice Last week from listeners. Oh, so yes. I thought I'd, I'd wheel out that barrel one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that, that the bot barrel yes. of uh, advice. Yeah. And I'm, as you know, moving. You are. It's a very long 90-day process, but mm-hmm. I, it is happening. It's a lot better than when you get kicked out of a place. It is, isn't Because it? at least we can sort of plan things. I've been throwing yeah. stuff. I've been posting a lot of the stuff online that I've been finding. Um, under If anyone interested, it's under the big dump. Did hashtag. The big dog hashtag. You did too. <laughs> I don't even know what a hashtag does, <laughs> but uh, I did it, and uh, it, it's uh, it's uh, really been nothing of interest to anyone. But <laughs> the thing is, uh, we moving a lot. But the, the, we're down to the business end. Yeah. As far as we we now have to connect services. Right. Okay. So if anyone out there has any horror slash. Uh, hero stories. Hero stories. Thank yeah. you for the word. Uh, regarding power supplies utilities and, and stuff. utilities. Yeah. Y- you are full of it today. <laughs> full uh, of what? <laughs> full of good advice and help. Oh, thank goodness. Um, yeah. And you've just given me a little, I'm just putting this in under another folder. Oh, Utilities wow. is a very good thing, very potential. What? Bit of work, uh, just for my... Oh, you uh, are, how dare you take notes for your freelancing. freelance job <laughs> yes. on the on our dime? Well, you know what? When you freelance, <laughs> yeah. it means that you have to. You have just to be, be awake like, to everything at all do. times. Yeah. It's a 24-7. People go, Stu, all I see during the week is like fun, doing fun stuff. Oh, you do? Just such a wacky fun stuff. Yeah. But yeah. you know what happens? What? I do the work when you're sleeping. Do you? Well, no, I'm sleeping too, but <laughs> I, I like to think I'm doing the work right, when everyone's right, right. sleeping. You know, I'm like the Batman of uh, freelancing. <laughs> now, <Yes. laughs> Lozzy. Darren, thank you for the bells. Yeah. As, at the moment, yes. uh, we have uh, a, a pack leader. Now, I'm going to go with a brand here. Right. And I, and I want people to like come at me with a yay or nay right. if they've had an experience. Okay. Power someone. What's it called? Uh, power shop. Power shop. <laughs> now, I think I'm going to do my power with power shop. I only hear good things. It means you have to put a little bit of work in. Apparently, you have to get on a computer and type in. Oh, um, well, you'll be great at it then. <laughs> House fire. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was only checking my account. Um, <laughs> the blow up the street's exploded, power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so, I think I'm going to go with power shop. But if yeah. anyone has any. I mean, this is a very boring <laughs> thing for anyone just of listening. Of course in. it is. You're just using the, the audience for their <laughs> if smarts. I can, well, uh, well, if you don't, you know what the saying is. If yeah. you don't have your own smarts, borrow someone else's. Is that what the saying is? Well, it is now. Right. Trademark here. Yeah. Um, what was the one we trademarked last week? Boomer yeah. bashing. Boomer bashing. So, we have, is that popped up in the. Uh, oh, it's media? all over the internet. Oh, my God. 
Hashtag boomer bashing. Because we did, uh, we did uh, put a little word out that we own that. Yeah, we did, didn't we? That's uh, not how law works. But anyway, and yes. What, about, uh, what the other ones? Schaden, not Schadenfreude. Uh, Annoidenfreude. Annoidenfreude. Smugenfreude, Sm- uh, Annoida Freud. And can I just say, uh, since we haven't done for so, so long, and we got a very angry letter the other day, good morning to Sebastian Pencil. Oh, poor old Sebastian. He sits there and listens with his pinhead every night. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Little Sebastian Pencil, because he's been around since the start. He has. Hmm. Long, and long, long know, time We listening. have been getting correspondence. This is almost like a Friday top show. We're just self-referencing, sitting here doing nothing. If you self-reference, self-referencing, you're really going too far. Oh, sorry. Is that, um, is that sort of meta-referencing? Meta-referencing, yeah, exactly. Trademarked? No, they can't trademark that. Why? I'm sure meta-referencing has been no, done before. Doesn't. This is a thing. This no, is a it thing. hasn't. No, I checked with my You'd be amazed what computer. gets skipped over. Is that right? Mm. Now, uh, anyway, what are we do you know what about? do you know what people have been keen for, Stuart Farrell? Kentucky Fried. No, well, no. Uh, people have been keen for your uh, business idea, salads yeah. and sides. You got a lot of feedback about that. And uh, it, uh, it's in the works. Is it really? No, but it's in my, in my head works. <laughs> so that's a start. No, you got to get it out of there. That's that's what you got to do. You got to make sure that it gets out of the head <coughs> and into the world, because otherwise someone else will do it. Then the Imagine if one of our listeners did it. I would go in there oh, with oh, oh a, God. a meat gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a kiss song. <laughs> and uh, and <sighs> just. And, or, you know, like a, a vinyl. A meat gun. What's a meat gun? Uh, well, I didn't does want to go it, in with a gun fire, because I don't like shooting people with bullets. Does it fire steaks at people? Or like wristholes. <laughs> so, you, like, don't you think <laughs> if you... <laughs> raw, raw, yeah. yeah. Raw meat wristholes at people. Raw wristholes, and, right. and it's a bit of like restaurant terrorism. Right. I love it. I mean, and purely, and I think there is a, a place for that sort of behaviour yeah. when it's in revenge. Right. For, so, if I, if I, for instance, got a cafe... Yes. And I came up with the, the, the wonderful, and I have done this, the yeah. wonderful uh, Ruben Quesadilla. Yes. Although we've had a couple of uh, listeners. We wanted to Liza. Liza. Yeah. I always say Liza and I, I always get it. It's Liza like Manelli. I know. And I do owe you that, Liza. You now remember. Yes. Um, uh, apparently her husband's ripped off my idea, but then it's missing half the ingredients, so I don't think it's the same thing at all. <laughs> But the thing is, the Ruben Quesadilla is one of mine. Yeah. If I now walk into oh, a... Oh, imagine if there, if you went down like Brunswick Street and there was a place called Ruben Tostatitas. Well, that's right. Yeah, I know. My side business. Ru- imagine Ruben that. Tostatitas was on. Oh, oh my that God. would be a really nice, the Ruben Tostatitas. It would be a gluten-free. Well, that was the listener's suggestion. Yeah, yeah. Ruben Tostatitas. Yeah. Great actor too. I loved him in uh, <laughs> 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> now, the thing is... The thing is... <laughs> yes. Uh <laughs> I would be well within my rights. I'm laughing at how appropriate that film reference is. Yeah. I'd be well within my rights. Yes. To go into someone else who was Barry Tostatitas but selling a Reuben Caxadilla. Right. Oh, this is getting confusing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With my wristhole gun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and it would be particularly effective in a vegetarian restaurant. Oh, yeah. So if you're oh, sh- my God. Shooting the around horror. raw wristholes around the place, <laughs> could you imagine? Copping a raw wristhole in your vegan nachos. Oh, no. You know? Nasty. And that's where revenge terrorism sort of, no. I mean, even though it's a very aggressive sounding term, revenge you know, terrorism, uh, you it, think? it can be fun too. <laughs> uh, I actually think that the stealing someone else's idea and doing it is one of the worst. And I think I think that because I work in the creative industries. But, um, but I do think that it is really bad form. And a few people, I've witnessed a few. Yes. It is blatant just flagorism. blatant flagorisms. Flagor- blatant flagorisms. So we can definitely copyright that one because no one's ever said no, that in flagor- their lives Blatant before. flagorisms. Nobody ever. Um, I had food in my head. I was trying to think of a, f- a, a portmanteau to go with uh, food and plagiarism. Don't you um, always have food in your head? Isn't there just constantly something on the stove in there? Just something boiling away, perhaps? Just something boiling something away in the background? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about? Anything of substance at no, all? No, Laura Clark, I think the main thing we can do here is remind us is how they can actually get in contact okay. with us and complain. All right, good. <laughs> People can get in contact with us. Uh, we're Stupidly Big, Stu. Stupidly Big on Facebook. Stupidly Big on Twitter. Stupidly Big in the iTunes shop. And um, that is also our website, stupidlybig.com. Please go and um, give us a rating or a review if you haven't already. Um, and on iTunes, that would be fantastic. 
And otherwise, Stu, uh, we will keep this snappy because that's what we're doing this week. And it's Lawrence Gap Week. It's Lawrence Gap Week. Uh, <laughs> thanks for your enlightening um, ideas you've brought to the table this Food morning, game. Stuart. Lauren Clark, <laughs> we've got one more shorty tomorrow and then we're back to normal Monday morning. How exciting. Mm. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.